types of speed bumps. First up, we've got your regular speed bump. These are a few feet wide or less and really only used in parking lots and some residential areas. Next, we've got speed humps, which are usually about 12 feet long and much more gradual than a speed bump. It's very important on longer streets to space the speed humps properly, otherwise drivers will speed up in between them to make up time. Similar to a speed hump is a speed table. It achieves the same level of traffic calming as a speed hump, but it's much longer and flat on the top, which makes it easier for bigger vehicles like fire trucks and buses to go over them. Finally, we've got a raised intersection. Each road ramps up and then the intersection area is at the same level as the sidewalk and curb. This forces all drivers entering the intersection to slow down, which can reduce crashes and crash severity. These are also great for pedestrian safety and accessibility, and I'm going to make another video just about them in the future because they're my favorite.